Hi, I'm Kit Cassingham, founder of and chief energizing officer at Live In Focused Energy. I started Live In Focused Energy because I had this sense that people were um, not weaving a life that was balanced and, and content and healthy and happy. And I thought I had some tips on how they could do that. So I developed a course that showed how to balance all the things and weave together this wonderful life. And I announced it to the world and nothing happened. I didn't understand all the ways to get the message out. And worse yet, I um, forgot to ask you what you wanted to learn, if you even needed that. So I backed off. And I got involved with several mentors who were teaching me how to launch my business and how to get more, attract more people and um, yeah, get the word out better. And then I got, um, became certified as a high performance coach so that I have a much better structure for which to guide you and support you in your growth and progress. And all that, that was really wonderful, but things just weren't happening. And I've got a really discontented kitty in the background, but she can be part of this because this is live. So, um, I was talking to people about how I just kind of kept feeling like the rug kept being pulled out from under my feet and I was felt like I was in this whirlwind and it just couldn't quite get grounded and settled and and it didn't make sense to me. But through the conversations I had, I realized I had a highly structured childhood. Mom was very organized and she kept us organized. We went to bed at the same time every night. And the older we got, the um, later we got to stay up. And we got up at the same time early every morning so that we could practice the piano before we went off to school. And it was all really good. With mom's structure, I was able to go to school, get my homework done, take piano lessons, be part of the swim team, uh, be in the French club and the chemistry club and go out with my friends and get everything done that seemed right to have a happy childhood. You know, we played out in the fields and we went roller skating. We did all kinds of wonderful things. And mom's structure really helped. And she taught me that structure and I took it with me uh, through, through grade school and high school, uh, college, so that I was able to, I didn't s struggle with college. It was just you know, nicely regimented and I went to classes, didn't pull all-nighters and got my papers done and took my tests, worked and went into the work world as an adult. And um, it's really disconcerting to talk with this cat going. Um, but in the work world, I got to work on time and I got my projects done. I created lots of wonderful things in, in work. When I was secretary for the director at the Natural History Museum in Philadelphia, for example. I got to help the uh, special events uh, coordinator put on lunches for the president and other people who are part of the, the museum. And it, I came up with a whole great little structure to make it happen. All I had to do was call the local deli and they would have the bread and the meats and cheeses and things we needed for lunch ready. I'd go pick them up, put them out, and lunch was wonderful. When I became a bed and breakfast innkeeper, same kind of structure. I, I took what the owner had put together for the inn I managed and uh, organized it more so that the housekeepers got the beds changed and you know, we changed the linens every two days and between guests rather than, oh, every two to three to four days. And um, I was able to shift from event to event. I could take care of guests and staff and vendors and guests and vendors and staff and guests and staff and answer the phone and help the breakfast person with the breakfast and help the housekeepers with what they were doing, the yard, and all these really cool things. 
there was a structure. Every day had things that had to happen in certain sequence. And then I became a bed and breakfast consultant and I led conferences, small classes, I guess, and a realtor, and the structure just kept working for me. It was all very wonderful. And as I became a serialpreneur, I was able to balance all these things that were going on in my life. And that progressed for many years. And then I met my husband, and he introduced me to this whole new, wonderful way of living where we, we traveled and we took long lunches. And I didn't go to bed at the same time every night and get up at the same time every morning and go to work at the same time. We'd stay up late, we'd get up late, or I'd stay up late and get up early or go to bed early and stay up, you know. Anyway, it, it was just this wonderful change. It was new experiences, and it was very intriguing and lots of fun. When we bought our land in southwestern Colorado, my structure kicked in again, and the de house we designed, I became contractor, uh, project manager for, and oversaw the builder, and answered his questions as it needed to be. And everything happened on time, and um, it, it just was a nice sequence and good structure. And then the house was done, and we moved in, and the chaos started coming in again. And which I didn't mention was kind of happening before. I kind of always had a bit of chaos in my life in that uh, I'd leave just a few pieces of paper on my desk and they were the seeds for future chaos. And I'd get all organized again. And what I was realizing is all this cycle continued and the conversations happened of, why am I feeling so out of control? I realized when I had structure, as I did with a kid in my early career, I felt more organized and I got things done. And when I didn't have that structure, I felt really chaotic and just couldn't get my act together. And so I've realized that I need to recreate the structure of my life so that I can build my business and and regain control of what's going on and to set my priorities, keep my balance of work and play. I do think we can balance our health, wealth, work and play for a much more satisfactory life. I know there's some people who say there is no such thing as a work-life balance. It's all one bucket and it just is what it is. And other people say there are six areas of our life that we have to balance. Um, divide it as you want, call it what you want. For me, it, there's health, wealth, work, and play, and I'm going to recommit to structure. I'm going to have my priorities of what to do every day and every week, and I know what my year is gonna look like, and I'm just gonna do it step at a time and I'm going to take hourly breaks and work through all of this. It's going to be wonderful. And I'm going to eat more healthfully. I'm going to get back to eating lots of vegetables. And I'm going to get rid of that sugar once and for all. I'm going to exercise more religiously. And I'm going to find a way to keep the structure going in my life when I travel. I seem to fall apart. Even when I get a nice little routine going, I travel and it all falls apart. No more. Or you're going to watch me do it. But if you find that you struggle with priorities, with chaos, with balance, with nutrition, with exercise, whatever, if your life spins out of control, join me on this little adventure. I had a dream a few days ago where, I, I don't know if I was on a boat or on a dock or what, but this big water vortex opened up and at the surface things were s swirling around and around and then as they got sucked into the vortex it got smaller and smaller as they got sucked in it was faster and faster and I woke up and thought Whew, that's like my life I want to stay on the surface and okay there will be some chaos but I want it to be slow and steady or better yet I want to be on land 
and let the vortex be out there. And if I were on land, maybe it'd be a dust devil. I saw one today. It's a beautiful Colorado day with some wind right now, but and a yowling cat in the back. But join me with my daily adventures. I'm going to do this for at least a month, and I want you to participate. Leave your comments, leave questions, make suggestions, um, leave, leave, whatever. And let's do this together. You can watch me, you can join me, but I'm putting structure back in my life. My business is going to launch. I'm going to have clients who also want structure in their life so they can have more focus, more energy, get things done that they want. Life is so much more enjoyable um, when you're productive and, and know your purpose. Your purpose is sufficient just to be alive and share in your joy, your wisdom, your knowledge. So we're going to do this for at least a month. And if you ask lots of good questions, it'll go on longer. So that's it for now. I'm Kit Cassingham, founder of and chief energizing officer at Live in Focused Energy. I'll see you tomorrow and I'll post a note ahead of time as to when I'll be doing my Facebook Live tomorrow. Take care. Have a great evening.